Hi friends, my name is Akhil Deshwal. I am the CEO of Thinkware Learning Solutions, and today we are going to discuss how students can clear maths too very easily. Uh, I have prepared few of the questions that students can do uh, to clear maths too. Uh, first and uh, first first question is uh, is from linear differential equation chapter. The question is first question what uh, you can attempt is finding C M and T I. C M is a complementary function and T I is a particular term. In this in this type of questions. Uh, mostly the PI term is always in, in most of the cases it is zero. So this is a very simple question that is asked for three marks. Second question uh, is linear differential equation with constant coefficient. In this case also you have to find CF and PI, but in this case PI is not zero. It will be some constant, maybe x or I can say e raised to x or sine x cos x. There are different types of examples on this. A question on that can be asked for six marks. Then there is a there is always a text question on methods of variation of parameters for eight marks. There are around ten to fifteen sums in the textbook. You can solve all of them. More many of the sums are uh, almost the same. You have to just you know uh, check out the pattern. What is the step for the doing the sums? If you do this, it will catch you around eight marks. Whereas well, this question, this three questions can catch you around seventeen marks. Next. Um, one of the most important chapters to clear maths too is numerical methods and numerical integration. So in numerical methods, uh, one question on numerical methods for eight marks will always be asked. Uh, uh, you can again check for uh, check for sums in the textbook. There are around 10 to 15 sums on numerical method. Do all of them. There are different types of sums that are uh, find uh, the approximate value and then exact value also. Verify. So check out all the methods, uh, all the questions. One question from the textbook will, uh, will be asked. Next is Taylor's Euler's or Euler's modified method. A six marks question on this is asked in every paper. Next is Simpson's one third, one eight, and Kepler's method. If you go, if you go all uh, a question based on a calculation of all the three values, or maybe one single value can be asked for eight marks. So uh, if you do this chapter, you can catch around 22 marks. If you do this two chapters, you can clear marks too very easily. So irrespective of all other chapter, all other even if you don't do all other chapters, if you concentrate on this two, you can clear it very easily. Next, there can be times when papers are a bit difficult, and so we might uh, have to do some extra questions so that at least we can attempt a paper up to 50, 55, and then try to score at least 30 to 40. So it is always recommended that you, know, you try to attempt a paper of 50, 55 so that uh, you can very uh, you can score easily 32 to 40. So in this case, uh, I have uh, written a few more questions. One question is on change to color coordinates and evaluate. A question of uh, four marks is generally asked in uh, question number one. A very simple question wherein you know which is a partition, a question on partition form is given. You have to change the coordinates uh, from Cartesian to polar and write down uh, right the equation. So, simple question to four marks is asked. Then, a question on triple integration is generally asked for six marks. Now, in triple integration, there are three types of sums if you see in the textbook. But the easiest sums, like the pattern one sums, where you, have, you, are, you just have to solve three, uh, three uh, like x for integration for x, y, z. If you do only that type of sums, even that will do. In most of the papers, around the, out of eight papers, in six papers, the simple integration sums were passed. So you can uh, you can pitch six marks very easily from that. A chapter called as rectification is there. A question on six marks uh, is asked on that. It's again a very simple chapter. You just have to you know rectification means calculation of time. So there are formulas given like a uh, partition form or polar form. There are formulas and you have to use that formulas and solve this question. So again, a easy question for six marks. And then there is a problem of exact equation uh, for four marks. So uh, you can get more problems on your exact equation, but then this problem is very simple where you just have to prove the definition of exact equation. So if you do all these questions, uh, I think you can clear match to very easily. For the students uh, who are not clear match to and uh, are like are the are from the previous batch, you already have a blueprint uh, for the questions that can be asked. So if I refer to that, uh, if you go like if you attend for question number one B, one C, one D, and one E, uh, like the questions on CFPI relationship between delta E, 
change to polar coordinates and problems of exact equations. So this, this, even in question number one, you can attend those many questions. In question number three, then you have got a triple integration of question and a variation of parameter question, which you can attend. In question number four, you have got rectification, linear differential equation, with constant equation, and another Buddha method. And then in question number five, a numerical integration question, or Taylor's, Euler's, or Euler's modified question. So, overall, if you do this, I have written based on uh, based on paper pattern only uh, on these questions. So, irrespective of you are from old syllabus or new syllabus, even if you do all this type of questions, I think so you can clear the maths too very easily. Uh, I am attaching few of the important questions that can be asked, uh, the planning that I have done for maths too, and which can help you. That all the documents will be available on my website www.thinkmind.com wherein I will be attaching a PDF uh, which you can download and just go, go through it. Like uh, I will be attaching few of my own notes uh, by photos. So you can just uh, refer to that whatever the steps that easy steps that I have written and you can just try to solve some based on that. So uh, I will try to you know upload that as soon as possible on my website www.thinkmind.com. And also for our second year we have got few notes like for chemistry to SPA and physics too. Uh, you can uh, check out on our website techman.com. I think those notes are very helpful for you from exam point of view. We have tried to make the best notes we can as as per the as per required by Mumbai University and it's more than a question answer format which can help you to clear uh, physics to chemistry to and SPA very easily. Uh, Sorry, but we don't have right now for maths too. But then I will be attaching a file about maths too. Like what are the questions you can do? Uh, like all the uh, type of questions, all the all this type of questions. How this sums can be solved? What are the steps that uh, you should like go, uh, you should follow? Whatever notes that I have, I will try to share with you on our website in my uh, So I hope you like the video. Please like it, share it with your friends. Uh, so that they can clear maths too easily and please subscribe to our channel Think My Learning Solutions. Thank you.